Welcome, my name is Andreas Solzinger. In this short presentation, I provide a brief overview about our current research topics. Thank you for your kind interest in our research. For the past 10 years, I'm working together with my group on human-centered AI, motivated by efforts to improve human health. We promote a synergistic approach to put the human in control of AI and align it with human values, privacy, security and safety. So let's start with a brief look on the current state of AI. So here a very recent work from the Princess Margaret Cancer Center in Toronto on histopathology. They applied a CNN to a repository of 840,000 histopathological image tiles and learned representations into a 512 dimensional feature vector. The novelty here is to compare with human constructs and they demonstrated that individual machine engineered features correlate with salient human derived morphologic constructs and ontological relationships. This is indeed an important next step in an overlap between human and AI interfacing, helping in eliminating biases and improving the accountability for future AI assisted medicine. This is really awesome work and of course we are proud that they reference to our work on causability, which I will discuss later. But generally there is no doubt that AI has great potential for medicine, thanks to the great progress in statistical machine learning. So what is our story? What are, what, uh, are the questions we are interested? Together with my group I am interested in three questions. First, why can AI solve some tasks better than humans? Second, why did the AI even come to these results? And third, what if I change input data? Or more technically, what if the input data changes counterfactually? So AI today is remarkably successful and we want to help the international research community to make it even better. So deep learning is a beautiful demonstration for the success of data intensive AI. However, sometimes we do not have large amounts of data where automatic algorithms benefit. The big problem is in little data, learning from a few data and most of all the missing ground truth, the discrepancy between empirical evidence and inference and the missing conceptual understanding. So this leads always to a generalization error. And here now a human in the loop may be beneficial because the human can sometimes and I emphasis sometimes not always but sometimes the human can bring in context understanding, implicit and conceptual knowledge. So the idea of making use of both human intelligence and artificial intelligence as Tversky and Kahneman in 1974 said system 1 and system 2 together is amazing. Imagine of what such a combined system would be capable. So we were inspired by the work of pathologists. So pathologists look at such histopathological images and use medical terms which includes biological phenomena. For example, they speak about cells, tissue types, anatomical elements, abstract patterns. They speak about an architecture, a penetration, a distribution, differentiation, grading. Here, for example, is a portal field and so on. So basically they form descriptions and interpret it with their implicit knowledge. Cells are smaller and closer together. This is a tumor but can also be an inflammation. It depends on the context. It is important to note that generally in the medical domain, different modalities contribute to one single medical result. So what is our story? Fact, medical AI is extremely successful and some AI even reaches human level performance. However, in the real world, we are facing three challenges where we want to contribute with our ongoing work. First, ground truth is not always well defined, especially when making a medical diagnosis. Second, 
Human scientific models are often based on understanding causal mechanisms. And third, successful machine learning today is typically based on correlation or related concepts of similarity and distance. And among others, this was the motivation for the development of our Kandinsky patterns exploration environment, which I show you in the next slide. So, Within our Kandinsky patterns experimental environment, we can build such concepts along with the ground truth. For example, here a true statement. The cells are smaller and closer together. It's a tumor. Or a false statement. Here a complete random pattern. Or a counterfactual statement. What if the cells are slightly bigger? So, here our Kandinsky patterns are extremely helpful because this enables us to study causality. The art and science of cause and effect. Causality is the effectiveness that connects the cause with the effect. So causality is the relationship between one process or state to another process or state. And this is a fundamental principle of all natural sciences, yet it is science per se. We have extended this concept and introduced causability as the measurable extent to which an explanation of a statement, which we receive, for example, from an explainable AI method, for example, layerwise relevance propagation, where the most relevant parts which contributed to a result are highlighted via, via a heat map. And this statement received from this explainable AI, mod, AI method, we map to a human, to a human user, which achieves now a specified level of causal understanding. And the measurement criteria include now effectiveness, efficiency and satisfaction in a specified context of use. Remember what I said if before, the context is always very important in the medical domain. And mapping is an ideal term for us because mapping comes from cartography and this mapping is central for us. This brings brings us to now to the key point to understand how we can map this together and this would be a new technique of human AI interfaces. So a recent outcome of our current research is the system's causability scale to measure the quality of explanations and we have chosen the term causability in reference to the word usability. It is important to note that in medicine, many different data always or information contribute to one single result. So here we need a multi-model view. So we should speak about multi-model causability. And this brings me now to the conclusion, what shall future human-centered AI ensure? So in medicine, we need something which may be called multi-model causability. And our future goal is to provide human AI interfaces, which enable a domain, domain expert to ask questions to the results in order to understand why a machine came up with the result and to ask what if questions, so-called counterfactuals, to gain insight into the underlying explanatory factors. For example, how will the result be affected when leaving specific features away. So this is our grand quest and goal. Thank you very much for your kind attention.